heating or cooling. Hi, One Hour Smart Home here, and today we're going to show you how to install a Nest thermostat with a heat pump. We've got our existing heat pump thermostat here that we're going to need to remove in order to install this Nest learning thermostat. Now, the first thing we need to do is turn the power off to our heat pump. Typically, you're going to find a light switch on your heat pump or in the same room as the heat pump that will turn off that heat pump. So go find that now and turn off your HVAC system and heat pump. If you can't find a switch that turns off your heat pump, look for your circuit breaker that will turn off your heat pump and then turn that off to make sure that the heat pump no longer has power to it. You can confirm the power is off by trying to run the thermostat after you've turned that switch off to your heat pump and our system is no longer running. So now we can safely remove the existing heat pump thermostat. To do that, typically you're going to find some tabs on the top here or the bottom or the sides and you're going to need to pry that thermostat off. Ours we pry from the bottom and that will pull it off the housing. Now that we've got the existing thermostat off, we're ready to take a look at the wires on the heat pump. Right here, we've got our C wire, also known as a common wire. Most of the time, heat pump systems will require a common wire for the proper installation of the Nest thermostat. But that is not every case. Some heat pump systems will have enough power that you will not need the C wire, which basically is used to help charge up the Nest thermostat. So our C wire is blue here, but it could be another color. The color is not as important as which wire is actually in each terminal. So we've got our C wire or common wire here in blue. The next wire we have is our white wire right here and it goes to A. That is auxiliary heat for our heat pump. And what that will do is trigger an electric coil inside your heat pump when the heat pump can't keep up with cold temps. And that auxiliary coil is very similar to a coil you would find in a typical electric portable heater. And that just helps heat when the heat pump can't keep up with cold temperatures. The next wire we have here is this R wire. This is the power wire, and you can see we have a jumper here, RC to RH. That doesn't really matter for our heat pump system because we have only one power wire, and it's going to RH, which means power for the heating system. Sometimes you'll have two power wires if you have a system that is a dual fuel system, and that R wire would be the power for the cooling system. However, with the heat pump, you're typically only going to find this singular RH wire which is power to the system and it is our red wire here. The next wire we've got is our Y wire and that is the call for heating or cooling. So that yellow wire right here comes down and that is our Y wire. The next wire we've got is our G wire. That is our fan control wire and what that does is trigger the fan to run in the heat pump so that it will circulate the air throughout our house. Now in most cases, a G wire is not necessary unless you want to be able to control the fan independently of the heat pump. And what that means is that you can turn on your fan for your heat pump system without actually running heating or cooling. So in some cases, if you have an issue where you don't have a seawire in your Nest thermostat isn't running properly or charging, what you can do is you can repurpose that G wire as a C wire because the fan will automatically turn on whenever the call for heating or cooling happens with your heat pump. So you would just lose independent control of the fan if you repurpose that G wire to the C wire. Now it's more involved than just moving the G wire over to the C wire. You would actually need to go down into your heat pump system and move the G wire not only here in the thermostat, but also move that G wire down on the terminals in the heat pump system. We have a whole nother video that explains that and how to do that so take a look in the description below for that now our last wire here is our o wire and that is the heat pump reversing valve a heat pump can put out both heating and cooling and how it does that is that it has this reversing valve that when energized will reverse the flow of 
coolant in the system or heat transfer fluid in the system. So one direction, it will create heat, and when this valve is energized, it will then create cooling. Now, if you have a B wire in your heat pump system, you have both an O and B, your heat pump will not be compatible with the nest. But if you have only an O wire or you have only a B wire, it can be compatible with the Nest Learning Thermostat. It's only when you have a heat pump system that has both an O wire and a B wire that your heat pump system will not be compatible with the Nest Learning Thermostat. And the reason for that, as you can see, there is only one terminal here for that reversing valve, O or B. So you can put an O wire in there or a B wire, but you cannot put both in there. So now that we've taken our picture and we've explained what each one of these wires does, we're ready to remove them. So just take your screwdriver provided with the nest and remove each one of these wires from the terminal blocks. We've got all of our wires removed and we can remove the existing thermostat from the wall. Now that we've got our existing thermostat removed, we're gonna take all of our wires and pull them through the center of the Nest thermostat, backer plate, and then we're gonna mount the backer plate. Now we take our screw and just screw the device into the wall. There's a level at the top to make sure you've got your device level, and typically you should install two screws. I'm just installing one because I install a lot of smart thermostats for demonstration, and I'm trying not to make more holes in my wall. So now refer back to the picture that you took, and you're gonna put the wires in the terminals that they were in when you took that picture. So I'm just gonna start off with my R wire. This is our power wire. It's going to go in our RH terminal right here. Press down and put the wire in. The next wire I'm gonna put in is my common wire. Now you don't have to go in this order, but I'm just going uh, based on this side of the thermostat here, but it doesn't matter what order you go in. Next wire I'm gonna put in is my white wire, which is our auxiliary wire right here, and that's for our auxiliary heat. Sometimes space can be a little tight, so you may need to push a little bit of the wires back into the wall. Now I'm going to take my Y wire, which is our call for heating or cooling, and install that in our Y1 terminal up here at the top. We've got our G wire, which is our fan wire, and we will install that here. The last one I've got is our orange wire, and that goes in our OB, and that is our reversing valve terminal. Now, you may wonder what some of these other terminals are for that we didn't use. Sometimes they're used for different types of systems, but they can also be used with more complex heat pump systems. Here, our Y1 terminal is a call for heating or cooling. However, you may have a Y2 wire also, and what that is is second stage heating or cooling, and that's just a second higher gear for your heating or cooling to cool faster. So if you have that Y2, you can certainly put it in here for your heat pump system with the Nest thermostat. Now down here, we've also got our RC terminal, and that is if you had a dual fuel system, which typically you're not going to find in a heat pump system. However, you may have a heat pump paired with, let's say, a boiler. And in that case, you would take your heat pump wiring, your RH, and you would put that over typically to RC, and then you would put your boiler power wiring over on the RH, but that is a more rare system. However, if you wanna learn more about that, take a look in the link descriptions below. We've got more explanations on the wiring for complex systems in another video. 
then you might wonder what is this star terminal? That can be used for accessory systems like a humidifier or a dehumidifier with your heat pump. All you do is put that accessory wire into the star terminal and then you're gonna be able to program it as either a humidifier or dehumidifier or another accessory. And the last one here, this W1, can be used with heat pump systems that have that dual fuel system like where you've got a boiler paired with a heat pump, in which case this would be your call for heating with your boiler system. Now that we've got all the wires installed, we're ready to put the Nest thermostat on the base plate. So we just align it, make sure we've got it in the correct orientation, and then press down. Now that we've got the Nest thermostat installed, we can restore the power down at the circuit breaker or the heat pump by flipping that switch or turning the circuit breaker back on. So I'm going to go do that right now. The Nest thermostat is starting up, and in a few moments we'll be able to set up the device. Now we're ready to start setting up the Nest Learning Thermostat with the heat pump. In order to make a selection, you rotate the outer ring and then you can press down on what you want. So it's a toggle system. I just press down here at the bottom and it will select what I am looking at. It says confirm your choice and I press down at the bottom again. Now it's going to go through our equipment. So I make that selection and just click homeowner. Here it says, is this a dual fuel heating system or a single fuel? In our case, we have a single fuel heat pump system. So I'm going to click on that right now. Here you can see our equipment detected. We've got our call for heating or cooling in stage one, our fan, our heat pump, our power wire, our common wire, and auxiliary heat right there. So we're going to click continue. It says your system, heat pump, auxiliary heating, heat pump cooling fan. We're going to click continue. What type of heating do you have? We have forced air through our heat pump. Does your heat pump use an O wire common or a B wire less common? Ours uses an O wire and in most cases the O wire is what you want to select. However, when you turn on your thermostat after you get it set up and it's doing the opposite of what you want, it's heating when you want it to cool or cooling when you want it to heat, all you need to do is go back to the setup and change it from O to B. So we're going to click O for now because in most cases that will work. Now we're going to click on our Nest app. It says add to your account. You'll be able to control the thermostat remotely and use additional features. I'm going to click continue. It says use a recent version of the Nest app to get started. Use the entry key or the QR code below. I'm going to use the entry key to get my Nest thermostat set up, but in order to do that, we need to download and set up the Nest app. Here we've got the Nest app, so I've already downloaded it and set up an account, so I'm going to click this to open it up. Here's the home screen for the Nest account, and all we're going to do here is click add a product. Now, if I wanted to do the QR code, I would just click down here to QR code, and then I could scan the code but I'm going to use an entry key. So we're going to click on continue without scanning. And then we're going to click our thermostat right here, the Nest thermostat. And then we need to make a selection. We're installing the Nest learning thermostat, which is the device with the metal outer ring. So I make that selection here. Now we can click already installed because we've already gotten it installed. Here we've got multiple options, but we're going to click third generation. If you're getting a new Nest thermostat, that is most likely what you have. Now that it's ready for the entry key, I'm just going to click right here and that will allow me to retrieve my entry key. Enter your entry key. Now click enter. Now we need to choose our Nest thermostat here and it is connecting to our Nest thermostat. Now 
we need to select our Wi-Fi network for setup. Enter your password and click join. Connecting, setting up the Nest network. It says finishing up. Add it to your account. Now we can click next. It says where did you put this thermostat? We're just gonna call this one downstairs. And now we're going to click next. We're going to click next. And which thermostat mode do you want to use? We're going to click heating. And it says our thermostat is now configured. We're going to click done. And you can see our thermostat right there. It says we can test now. I'm going to click test later. And now we've got our system all set up. It's reading 68 on the device and 68 on the app. Now I've got a whole nother video that shows you how to use the Nest thermostat and it shows you how to adjust settings. So anything you wanna learn about that we just clicked through, take a look at that in-depth video and it'll show you everything you need to know about the Nest thermostat. So in order to change the thermostat, I'm just going to click here and then I can click up and you'll see that change is made on the device. And now our heat is turning on and it will turn on to 74 degrees and the current temperature is 71. Now, if I wanna turn it down, I can click right here and it will make that change as well on the device. And you can see that the color changes from orange to black when it is no longer heating or cooling. Down here, you've got all kinds of other settings that you can change. And if you want to adjust the temperature, you can do so right here by scrolling the device, that outer ring, which is a really nice feature. You can also click down here to go into the menu settings and you've got all kinds of different menus right here. And once again, I recommend checking out that other video if you want to learn how to use more of this. So thank you for watching this video on how to install your Nest learning thermostat with a heat pump system or how to install a Nest thermostat with a heat pump. If you like this video, please give us that thumbs up, subscribe, and click any of the links below if you want to support us as well as if you want to learn more about this device. Thank you and we'll see you next time.